Hi, I'm João Almeida, and you're watching The Cycling Day. Right, hello. Uh, we are here at the Rouleur Classic for the hour record, and I'm here with Tristan. Tristan, this is the bike that broke the hour record. It is. Fastest ever one, and what's kind of the special features of the bike? So, the bike's entirely made of 3D printed titanium. Um, I mean, that in itself is a bit of a you know, manufacturing feat. It's not done in you know, set different parts. It's the, a one piece printed piece, like by frame. Um, if you look at the seat pin, the whole seat tube and the seat pin, it's got that ribbed effect. So that's something that you can't do with a carb, you know, a standard carbon fiber layer up, lay up. So yeah, that's super different. Obviously, it's all custom built to, to Ganna's geometry. Very, very aggressive. A lot more aggressive than his TT bike as well. Um, yeah, 64 tooth chain ring, custom made crank, you know, pretty cool stuff. What kind of inspired the very unique design that we're seeing there and yeah. why? It's not something we've seen traditionally on bikes. Yeah, I know. I think um, that's a question probably to ask the Pinarello designers, but, um, you know, I, I, they took inspiration from like a humpback whale. I don't know if you've seen like, a, there's a video that outlines the whole process of them building it from start to finish. Really, really cool. Um, How does it kind of differ from his TT bike? Because it's obviously a, a velodrome. Yeah. It's it's heavy for a start. You know, it's it's a super heavy frame, um, being titanium. But I think with I don't know if you watched. Um, did you watch the World Champs when he built when he did the, the pursuit? Um, got the new pursuit record. That if you if you noticed how slow he was to get up up up, up to speed. And then when he was at speed, he could really haul. You know, the heavy bike compared to a normal TT bike. I mean, TT bikes are normally quite heavy, but this is like, you know, pushing 10 kilos. So, <laughs> what influence did Dan Bigham have in this design? Not the person to ask me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What about the wheels? What kind of wheels is it? Yeah, Princeton double discs. I mean, I think it's running tubeless. Don't quote me on that. Please, but I think it's running <laughs> tubeless. It looks like tubeless setup. Um, yeah, I mean, they look like a super wide disc wheels, really cool. And the kind of the well, the handlebars are quite well, yeah, uniquely all, designed, all, and yeah, it's all 3D printed again. Um, so they took molds of his forearms. You know, actually, that this bit here is exactly the same. As, as he has on his, from this point up, it's exactly the same as he does have on his TZ bike. Why is it titanium? That's probably one question. Obviously, they don't have to be light. Yeah, so, partly it's an environmental thing. Trying to go forwards, it's like, um, how to explain it? They're trying to think of different ways of building bikes in the future. And if you can create a bike like this out of, you know, the whole thing made out of titanium, then, you know, it's a good start. Five down years, you know, five, five years down the line, maybe the next frames in the future can be built using this technique, if it's refined, of course, but yeah.